Travel system good planning. No. Under a tree by the side of the road, a man is sitting with his eyes closed. When you pass by, he suddenly opens his eyes and looks you over. You are going the wrong way, dear friends. This is the final caution. And there's a soft whoop, and it disappears right in front of your very eyes. All that remains is a small steaming heap of leaves, he said, on a lingering smell of brimstone. Okay. When you reach the forest, you suddenly find yourself in front of a vast orcish encampment. Hundreds of black girls are lounging, playing dice, or polishing their weapons. The whole thing resembles an Imperial Guard regiment, regiment so much you have to look twice to be quite sure it's really an Orc army you see. They on the other hand do not seem to take any notice of you, though occasionally one of you looks away, do you, well, walk on. Slowly and inconspicuously as you can manage, you move on. No one seems to care about your presence. Only when you are in the middle of the encampment, four orcs approach you casually. Do you... Hmm, go on anyway. Without showing any kind of open hostility, the four warriors stop in front of you and seize you up. One of them addresses you in harsh but easily understood Garesi. No problem there. We let anybody in. That only works in our favor. Give us your baggage and weapons, your armor too, and of course, of course, nobody will get hurt. Then, guess we don't have a choice? The orc searches your backpacks, piling up to a small heap. While one of the orcs is sorting your baggage, a shaman approaches and beholds it suspiciously. Mastic stuff, then us, the shaman suddenly hisses. Whereupon the orcs seem to be scared and put some of your items back gingerly. After all, you are allowed to pass the orcs. So, as soon as you enter the town, you are surrounded by curious people. Apparently, it's been a long time since travelers have arrived in Lowrunnen. Thanks a lot, friends, for the company through unsafe areas. Over here, there just comes from Bosser Gavron. Time has come to say goodbye. When you are in need of help, sometimes address him, for he knows the ways around in Lowrunnen very well. I will soon leave the town again. Then a young man approaches, resembling Anseron like a twin, wrapping his arms around him. Finally, he addresses you. Please accept my grateful thanks for giving my brother escort. We are deeply in debt to you, and I will be at your service with pleasure. To express his great gratitude, he wraps his arms around every one of you, and then disappears into the crowd, accompanied by Anseron. And also accompanied by the Salamander Stone. <sighs> You check off. <laughs> oh great, they left my pants alone. That's very nice of them. Oh well, at least I finally have some clear inventory. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Uh. Well, we have to find our way around here now. I need to find a Dragon Esht. Great. Let me check quick where this lo lovely guy is. Lovangen A10 Dragon Esht. An old town. Where the fuck am I? I have no idea. <laughs> oh well. A10. I guess I will explore the city a little bit. About all of the lost uh, magic potions, you did see that I never used them, right? And usually there's no real uh there's a need for it. I think in the next game we can get some uh good alchemy going on. What? And yeah. <clears throat> usually I just sleep it off anyways. <laughs> My party is too hurt. So it doesn't really matter. 
and well the items the armor we lost it is kind of annoying but mm, we still have 236 to cards I uh, I'm pretty sure that wait did I spend 100 100 to cards at the temple fuck uh, anyways. Considering I still have 99 of the herbs, that's that's why I gave Gilvan the herbs. I can sell the herbs off and be on my way. I find the city horribly confusing. Which tall one silver? Hey. Asso? No Wangen. There's no mention if this is the old town or not. That's kinda. But I think this looks like old town. Very good. I want you. Dragon Esht. <laughs> I knew I would find him. Um. Let's ask him about Gavron. So, what is it? Gavron. We are looking for someone called Gavron. Can you help us? I know a lot that might prove helpful to you, but I would expect you to do me a little favor in return. Do you? Okay, yes. Get the Winsalter here. I need him to translate something for me. The old man lives in colorful flight, right at the bank of the Svelte. Okay. The Wind's Altar. <laughs> Stupid name. <laughs> uh, where is the Wind's Altar? Wind's Altar. I have no idea. In Colorful Flight. Where is Colorful Flight? What the fuck is Colorful Flight? Map of Eidal. I guess Eidal is where you enter. Colorful flight. Huh. Pretty sure it's somewhere to the east. Oh, that's a huge building. See a board holding announcement of the town administration next to the door. Check this announcement first. Announcement. To the citizens and inhabitants of Lowangen, will let it be known that a state of emergency has been officially declared for the duration. The situation prevents no further explanation. The state of emergency leads to the following regulations. According to this treaty of the Swelt Leech, fugitives are to be housed as kindly as possible. Therefore, all inns are held by order to provide lodgings for a set fee of 5 bits per night and per person. Anyone pri offering private accommodation to fugitives may charge a set fee of 2 bits per night and per person. Anyone owning a weapon not used for the protection of the person is hereby ordered to turn said weapon in for the appropriate restitution at the guardhouse at Idle Bright, which within the week to provide adequate armaments for the town guards. Ownership of more than a single weapon for personal protection is prohibited. Ownership of an authorized weapon we will be punished with a fine or, in extreme case, with a jail sentence. The squandering destruction or misuse of food for any purpose other than nutu nutritional needs is prohibited. Storage of food is allowed within limits, with that limits being the amount necessary to survive for one week. All food stores beyond the limit are to surrender their stock to the magistracy within the week for the feeding of the needy. Violations of this order will in all these cases be punished, punished with jail sentence. Uh, let the following be known. Whosoever will help the town of Lovang in her fight against the siege forces beyond the normal call of duty shall be rewarded by a grant of citizenship for life and beyond for all his or her descendants in perpetuity. In particular, the town is need of weapons and food. Uh, okay. I still need to get past you. And there's a donation ball next to the bridge. Inside there are a few bits. Do you feel like donating something? Oh, yes. Uh, what do you want to tie? Bits. Ten. 
Yeah, I can live with 10 bits. Uh, uh, the winds are the G14. It's here. And I am. there. Uh, should be. somewhere here. The wind salter. You turn to go, getting no answer to your knocks. Just then a white haired man slowly opens the door. Yes? Dragana sent us. We're supposed to take you to see him. Ha! And why the name of the god should I want to visit Dragon of all people? This scoundrel is no more interested to me. It's important to us. And why exactly is it so important for you if you will allow the question? You explain your sorry situation. Alright, I come along for your sake, but I hope the Dragon doesn't harbor any illusions about me doing any favors for him. Sorry, Vince Alta, you have to go. <laughs> oh, I can't choose it anymore. Sad. Here's bonbons. Why do you have sweets with you? No, I like some sweets from time to time. No, ready to donate everywhere. Um, let's see if I can find this house immediately again. It should be around here. Alive, alive. What is wrong with me today? I like this ottoman. Ah, you're back. I see. Well, you're obviously willing to do your best, so one good turn deserves another. What do you want to know? So what is it? Dragan? <laughs> Gafron? <coughs> About Gafron. We look for someone called Gafron. He's in cahoots with Alien. You wanna catch Gavron? Best ask around at the Orc desk. Okay, what can you tell me about travel? A favor, a piece of information. You want my back, I want yours. That's the way of the world. But if you want to help me out again, I'm sure I can make some inquiries on the subject for you. Yes? There's a brooch of mine in the exhibition building next to the Temple of Xar. It's an heirloom the town more or less stole from me. The brooch is the shape of an ash tree. Bring me that piece of jewelry and we will see. Uh, I have to steal now. Great. I have to. Stupid walkthrough thingy. How many videos did I record so far? This is the second one. Ooh. I'm flying when you are having fun. So, there. Uh, Okay, we will okay. do this later. Uh, go to the Orc Desk Tavern. Orc Desk Tavern. D10. It's, of course, at the entrance. It is, oh. Oh, no, it's in Old Town. Hoo 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 hoo. D10. Could be one. Dragon's place. D10. Yes, it is at Dragon's place. <sighs> so all he, all the info he gave me was well, he's over there. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Thank you. What is it? Was free table. I'm sorry, but I cannot offer you anything to eat. I would be delighted to serve you some watered down wine, though. No. Get lost, Prem flounder faces. The landlord balls you out, loudly grunting and cheering. Some of the customers come running to teach you how to fly, only from the to doorway to the curb. Oh, that's not how you try to be, just, uh, not, not draw attention to you. Yeah.